Hello everybody, welcome back to the van build. Today we're going to be tackling the electrical mounting box and to start with we're off to screw fakes, B Q, just all the our favorite stuff and it's really windy. Step number one, obtain brackets, complete. Shopping trip, not going to plan. <laughs> Okay, every hardware store seems to have very low stock at this point. We're gonna have to go to four hardware stores today to, yeah. to get these tiny little things. What we need is 12 mil ply, we need a 15 by 15 plank of pine wood, we need some tiny 3 by 12 screws and a few brackets. And we have to get each of those at a separate stall. Yeah, so let's go. 12 mil ply. Oh. Doesn't look probably good. There's quite a few holes here. I think this pack has been outside. That one up there looks fine, as far as I can see. But I doubt anybody would really come and take them down with that big pile of like this. So we're going to plan B, and we're just gonna get some slats. It's more expensive. All right, let, let's just go go build. So we're going to be building our electrical mount. So we've got our wooden base, a small piece for the outer frame, and a piece of ply to mount all the DC electrical boxes, whatever, on the side. Oh, also, so this is a relatively straightforward design. It's nothing overly fancy. So what we have here is two ply walls. This is for the uh, charger mount, and this is for the fu fuse box mount. Then here there's a, a, a cross-section view of uh, uh, how it's going to look. So this is one wall. These are the little feet, and then this little bar here of 15 by 15, which is this frame here, is what is going to hold the batteries in place. Step one is to just cut the ply, the pine. This is pine, not ply. Here's the other. So they're the templates that we made for our mock-up. So this is what they need to be, yeah? vibrations just gave me pins and needles <laughs> <laughs> that's one wall and that's the other wall like that yeah and they come on like this and in theory what needs to happen now is with those two walls we need to create that layout on there holes to cut. So let me just account for them. So we have a 30, 30, 30, 30. That is supposed to be 20. Yeah. Uh, then these are 16s, but you said we have 15. So 15, 15. Yeah. Then we have 20, 20, 10, 10, 10, 10. The wind's getting to me. I don't like it. There you go. It's just come through the other side. Right. If I carry on going, it's gonna go straight through and splinter the other side of the plywood. As you can see, this is my tester piece, which is an old part from the, the van. This is what happens when you just go straight through it, just splinters a layer of the plywood off. So I'm gonna get them all down to that level, flip the wood over, then drill through, and that should give us a nice clean cut hole rather than 
that monstrosity. So yeah, it's just poked through on the other side, so we'll drill through that and that should give us a good hole. this over the edge of the table we're gonna have it on there and a piece of wood underneath and I can press down evenly without it sagging or bending. That should hopefully improve the problem. I am gonna to have to remove these nails. In and out, get the hammer. Oh the hammer is the most useful tool. I think it's a very blank face. <laughs> I, I, and... <laughs> oh, you don't want to draw a smile on it? Yeah, I'll connect but, these But up. no, it's like it has dimples. It's a dimpled straight face. <laughs> it's a new emotion, dimpled straight face. <laughs> Okay, when you say I'm being timid, and then you decide not to be, that doesn't, mean, that doesn't mean drill through the table. Well, we can drill another hole and then fill this one. Yeah. jiggle room but honestly that two millimeters you know we accounted for two mil yeah on either side that has really helped them go in otherwise I think they would struggle you know I am super relieved that they fit because we didn't really do our usual 10 billion dry fits before you know before and after sort of each uh, screwing hole and things right, what are you looking at well we've got nine mil ply and 12 mil screws. So that's a 12 mil screw on a 9 mil ply with a bracket. And because the uh, front is going to be visible, you know, we don't want the screw poking out. Please don't drop them on me. I'll try not. <gasps> <laughs> I said don't drop them on me. I didn't drop them on you. Anyway, uh, we have some, uh, what is it? Oh, washers? Washers? Uh, the smallest ones. That is on the edge. Might need another one. What we've done is put washers on all the screws that are going into the 9mm. 
and because we don't have a lot of small washers there you go there's a small washer on the front and a slightly bigger washer on the back and yeah. that encompassing with the screw in the bracket means that it shouldn't go all the way through the nine mil so let's let, let's test this By the way, uh, we thought that we should give a shout out to our patrons who were very helpful with designing uh, the electrical uh, system and you know gave us tips on on, on the box and stuff. Just a huge uh, thank you to our patrons, and if you do want to become a patron, then the link is down in the description below. Huh? Is that it? That's it. Well, apart from the insulation sleeve. That's yeah, but, but but essentially this this is the mount. That's the mount. Okay, so we're going to be mounting and wiring these next video, so yeah, but as far as I can tell, what I drew digitally is actually what we built, which, you know, thankfully everything should fit the, the right way. So that goes there. Yeah, and we're gonna do the insulation jacket next video as well. So I'm very curious whether this would actually fit through this. Uh, well, if I don't have to hold that, I can take all of them. There you go. Oh, there you go. I mean, when we remove a little bit of that, ooh, that's uh, struggling. Ah, because of the bracket on the no, bottom. No, it's not the bracket. It's this. It's, it's not allowing us to. Uh, oh. Um, what? I think it's because I drew. Oops. Design problem. I drew this in the center and it's on the side. Ah. So the hole is like here. Mm -hmm. Just looking at it, like that. <laughs> there you go, that's off it. That's off our mount. Well, we'll solve this problem next video. See you later, subscribe for, for next time, and uh, let's go eat because I'm really hungry. We need another fuse box.